Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2020 Bowman uh, Baseball Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number nine from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, no paper-based ships, only, uh, only Jason Dominguez, Bobby Wood Jr., and not on this list right here is Oakland's um, Robert Pawson paper will ship. All other paper base will be uh, sold and donated to uh, various charities that we like to support. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. There you go. Eight box jumbo, pick your team nine. John Samuelson, last spot mojo. Big thanks to him. There's the rest of the group right here. Thank you very much for getting in. Appreciate it. All right, you can see on the top camera right there, the jumbo case. I'm gonna slide a box out of there right now. It's a good staging area here. All right, good luck. Oh, Scott saying do a 10 spot, like do a num our usual number block, Scott. We were, we were talking before we started this video. I know it's a baseball break, but this is long, so we can get off topic a little bit here. Um, we were talking about what to do with the, the Pelicans and Noir basketball. So Scott's idea is maybe doing a 10 spot random number block like we usually do, but except, except not do zero or zero doesn't get redemptions because Zion's a redemption and everyone gets a shot at the redemption interesting This is uh, Pick Your Team 9, ladies and gentlemen. Jumbo, Pick Your Team 9. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. All right. I think this is the, for a long break, this is the perfect hand position. Usually my elbows are up off the table, but I pop an elbow on the bottom of here and I can extend the paper right here just behind the Nick cam. Oh, autograph Jacob Amaya, 48 out of 100 for my Dodgers. I'll do a recap at the end too. Michael Z with my boys in blue. There you go, 11th round pick. Bobby Witt Jr., those will set aside as will this paper Robert Pawson. We got US Marshals on the on the TV on AMC. Top loaders I need to move right here. That's where my hand can go right here. We got speed and efficiency is key in these longer breaks. We we don't really have anything sold out after this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a Prism retail pack going after that to to give away some spots in that thousand dollar basketball mixer but after that really nothing else the closest thing is uh noir pick your team five which is four teams away and that's that's where the pelicans chatter has been uh that's why the pelicans chatter has been happening i forgot that wesley snipes is in this movie u.s marshals Come on. 
This will go to Jay Remington and the Royals. Ryan Harold thinks his Mets are hiding in here somewhere. We haven't seen too many Mets. So they, they've got to be due. Also, we have not seen a Super Fractor, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I think we've gone... There's Grant Levine to 125. Aqua Shimmer for the Rockies. That'll be for Bradley. I think we've done enough cases... You know, maybe on release day, the sample size isn't big enough. Got the chrome cars in the right pile here. But now that we've done a bunch of these cases, I feel like now we can start asking, hey, when are we going to hit a super fractor in here? Any kind of super fractor. Paper super fractor? Chrome, are there paper super fractors? Chrome super fractor? Auto super fractor? Non-auto super fractor? Doesn't matter to me. I want to see one. We've got a couple out of fives. So we've been lucky enough to get those. There's Heliot Ramos to 4.99. Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, Mark Bissett with my rivals. All right, that's first half. Jumbo. And we've got Gus Varland, A's. That's Aaron Tooley with the A's. You'll get all those Robert Possons as well, Aaron. All those add out too. Max Muncy. Our first paper, Jason Dominguez. Bradley Marshall got the Yankees straight up in this. nervous about baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Has there been any other news? I guess it's Saturday. Maybe maybe owners and players are ruminating what they, what, on what they should do. There's Jason Dominguez chrome this time for Bradley Marshall and the Yankees. Nice. Got the Yankees straight up in this jumbo. Derek Disser saying not, it's not looking good. I know. And listen, I've said this before. I'll say it again. Hi, Gabe. I'm on the side of the I'm on I'm on the side of the players for sure. But the optics are now looking bad for everybody, players and owners. Everybody. It's just it's a it's a it's a frustrating situation because I mean I would say baseball probably is probably is my my favorite sport. I think so. I watch I do I watch a lot of baseball. Follow a lot of baseball. Play a lot of fantasy baseball. Enjoy going to baseball games. I'm the kind of guy that can watch all nine innings of a baseball game on TV. I'm one of those weirdos. But, I mean, if your work... I, it's hard... And I don't I actually don't like it when people compare regular jobs to to professional athletes. Just it's hard. It's not a good comparison. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> if if your job was in a situation where they were just like, hey, we're going to have to. If they said one thing, right? Because they agreed to something in March, right? And now it's end of March, April, May, end of May. Two months later, they said we're going to change it. We want to cut 80 percent of your contract of your money. What are you gonna What are you gonna say? Uh, Delgado going to Bradley Marshall and the White Sox. It's a tough thing, especially when it's especially if you make more money. Then they're gonna be like, "We're cutting more of you." You know, lower wage guys. We're not gonna cut as much, but then the higher wage guys are salty. Especially after they agreed to something in March. Maybe that was the first problem. 
a hasty agreement in March. And I, I guess we didn't know what was going to happen with this pandemic, but but maybe that was just the inadvertent mistake, something they couldn't really have planned for. But this is how it's turned out. It's tough. I mean, I know I'm oversimplifying this issue, but it's kind of where it, it's kind of what it comes down to in a very general sense. And don't forget, overall, and I know this doesn't apply to every individual team, but overall, baseball revenues as a whole have been up. So it's not like, you know, the the rumors of baseball's death has been greatly exaggerated. Now those national games, if you're thinking it that way, the national game ratings for TV, they don't do as well as like NBA or especially football. But local, regional and local uh, markets for baseball teams on a whole, as a whole, are pretty impressive. A lot of money in those local contracts. Go look up, just Google what the Tampa Bay Rays could potentially make if they get a new TV deal. It's a lot. There's Vidal Bruhan. Now, of course, they need games to play to make those TV contracts worth it, and so it gets tricky. There's the raise, Greg with that one. But, listen, let's, let's flip back. It's not like baseball is going away forever. It's not a limited resource, you know. <laughs> baseball should be around for the next hundred years, right? So... You know, you're going to make up this money. You, the money that you lose here, you'll this year, you'll make up in following years. So it's tricky. But it seems like they're fighting the, the CBA art battle this year instead of after 2021. And really, they're Sam Huff to 499 for the Rangers, Mark Bissett. Really, they should be figuring out just how to play baseball now. Let's worry about the CBA later, but they're battling that CBA now. And it's gonna, it's been ugly, it's going to get ugly, and we're getting a taste of what we can see after that collective bargaining agreement is over for baseball after 2021. Yeah, Derek, I agree. They don't do a great job. Baseball doesn't do a great job in marketing stars. You know, and then remember when, remember, and, and I'm not too sure about Rob Manfred either as the baseball commissioner. Remember when, when Manfred pretty much called out Mike Trout for, for not wanting to be more marketed or something like that? And so he's like attacking his, his own players instead of working with him. I know that, that felt a little, that felt a little weird too. There's Dylan Carlson to 150. Blue Shimmer for Ben Young. So that's not a good relationship right there. Look at Adam Silver with his players. It's completely different. You know, you, were, you hear reports that Adam Silver is talking to, like, the big-name players. On the phone, they're exchanging tests and talking all the time. You think Trout's talking to Manfred on a regular basis? You think Scherzer and... Ooh, did Ryan Shackleton just call this? Literally, like, what, what time is it? A minute ago. I was going to respond to his comment, but three minutes ago, at the 21-minute mark, it's the 24-minute mark now, Ryan Shaglin says, Joe, because I haven't seen anyone in a bit live here, I'm calling a color Jason Otto. Oh, Dominguez Otto. I thought you said Pawson Otto. I haven't seen Pawson in a while either. At a 299, that goes to the A's, Aaron Tooley. Speckle Otto. Sorry, I misread that, Ryan. Got excited. But maybe we'll see a big color Jason Dominguez Otto too. Be a hot case right here. Yeah, still a big hit. So nice one, Aaron. Thanks for grabbing the A's straight up. What is that? Uh, mine. Why? 
the risk paid off. Scared money don't make money. There's Dominguez, speaking of Jason. Jason Dominguez, spanning the globe, chrome, and Joe Ryan, yellow paper to 75. Joe Ryan for the Rays, that'll be for Greg. And of course, Bradley Marshall has the Yankees. Chasing all the Domingai. Going back to what we were saying earlier, Derek's like Trout, Arenado, Bellinger, Yelich, all those names, they should be huge names. It's Paul Goldschmidt to 150, Atomic. Yeah. I know there's different challenges in marketing baseball players, but still. I mean, what did I hear Nick say last night? Is Nick still around? Nick? Real botanicals, fresh taste. What did you say Roger Federer was making last night? Highest paid athlete, Roger Federer, and a lot of that is, uh, sorry, I just walked away with this. A lot of that is due to his own personal endorsements. You know, I know tennis is an individual sport's a little different, but I mean, it's just international sort of fame. Baseball is a pretty international sport. Baseball's not taking advantage of that. World Baseball Classic, it's all right. But. Here's Thomas Dillard, Brewers, Jason Cox. I love baseball too. They're, 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 and baseball doesn't need an overhaul. People think they need overhaul in baseball. I think, I think that's not true. They're trying to change the rules of the game. Can't do that. That's, you're going to end up like the NFL, changing rules every other season. There's Acuna Jr., Purple. For the Braves, EA. No, baseball, the, the reason why people do like baseball is that because of it's like some long standing tradition. It's like changing fundamental rules in like soccer. You can't do that. That's been around for 100 plus years. So there, I, I understand there's different challenges in marketing baseball, but. It's there. The players are there. The international market is there. You know, the, the growth, revenue growth is there. The TV money is there. Maybe baseball players are more inclined to keep it low profile. I don't know. But, you know, there needs to be a little more swag in, in, in the game. Back in the, back in the 70s, 80s baseball players some of the coolest guys out there the coolest reggie jackson in new york the straw that stirs the drink you know all that sort of stuff it was the they got to work on that not on not on shortening the game or whatever i think the game will naturally will naturally ebb and flow. Some years there will be more pitching dominance, you know? At some point, even the launch angle thing's changing. It's shifting back to, slowly shifting back to being more active base paths and more active hitters. So even, even a lot of the players now aren't just about launch angle now, you know, they're now it's more about let, let's barrel the ball a little bit better. Hard contact. Spray it around the field. Beat the shift. That's going to... I'm all about market correction, right? You know, with the shift, the market will correct itself. You know, they'll figure it out. There'll be a team that suddenly makes speed sexy again. There'll be tons of guys stealing bases. There's Jordan Yamamoto for the Marlins. Bradley Marshall. So it's going to happen. The market will correct itself in that sense. But the marketing, yeah, that's something that there could be a ton of ideas that could that baseball could be better at.
I think the Mark think Mark Nowo is in the house. He thinks that some of the marketing thing might be because they have fully guaranteed contracts. So do basketball players. They're marketed a lot better. Tennis players, golf. Although golf, maybe yeah, maybe you'd have to hustle a little more in in those individual sports. But basketball, they're guaranteed contracts, right? Bobby Witt Jr. for the for Remington. Maybe maybe it's less of an issue of uh, of having players or individuals marketed. I just feel like there's just a platform that's not being used in its entirety. You know, like I feel like baseball could do more. Maybe even if you're not maybe let's not call it marketing but just highlighting star players. One thing that 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 Stern did in the NBA RIP and Silver is doing now is they they knew it was a star driven league. So I don't know if I don't know if baseball has quite adopted that yet. Now it can't just be all about the individual. Baseball is certainly more of a team sport, but you know, NFL is a team sport too, probably the ultimate team sport and we're going to have to work together in concert, but their NFL still able to market their stars, you know, something that baseball I don't think has quite clicked yet, and that might be, you know, that might be a leadership thing. Manfred, say what you want about Goodell. I don't like Goodell at all, but in a marketing sense, he has grown the sport. You know, it's huge. All right, there's Jaron Duran. I think he's a pretty big name for the Red Sox. Darren McKenzie with Boston. U.S. Marshals. Is that right, now? Well, I mean, you would know. You're in the industry. Golf's the only sport where if you don't form, you don't get squat. If you get cut, that's it? You don't get paid? What about that's... Really? Tennis. At what point do you not get paid in tennis? If I'm the first person out, let's say I'm in, let's say I'm in the Australian Open... And I'm the, you know, men singles, and I get knocked out first match, first person get knocked out. Do I still get paid in tennis? Even if it's like ten thousand dollars, something like that, five thousand. I don't know what it is to be honest with you, but there's Julio Rodriguez, two fifty. The big name for the uh, Mariners. Oh, there's uh, Xavier Edwards for the Friars to four ninety nine. That'll be for Mark the Set and Travis Demerick to four ninety nine. Paper. Got Sharon, oh Sheraton Apostle, to two fifty. Mark Bassett with the Rangers. Robert Pawson, Chrome this time. Oh, pair nicely without auto. We pulled for you earlier, Aaron. What's the matter with you? Look, Sam, you can't do 
And there's Shane Boz to 299, speckled. Now Tommy Lee Jones is going to do it his own way. Yeah, there's a code, Tommy Lee Jones. There's a code. There's a code, Tommy Lee Jones. Man, speaking of codes, code red. Let's get let's get a few good men on TV here. Halfway through the break, folks. Come on, Manfred. Market baseball better. Compared to the other four major team sports, of the four major teams, I feel like baseball is lagging behind in that sort of star power marketing. That baseball union strong though. NBA not as strong. NFL definitely not as strong. That MLB union is strong. Maybe they're like, ah, eh, we just maybe Mark maybe now was right. They just cash in their big guaranteed contracts, and they're just like, Arenado's like, I don't gotta do, I don't have to do anything. Maybe maybe it's in the CBA. Reduced marketing commitments. All right, onwards. Good luck, everybody. This is Jumbo Picker Team 9. Jumbo Picker Team 10 is in the store and pretty close to filling, actually. We can do another Jumbo tonight. I don't mind these Jumbos at all. It's out of 250. These are, these are relatively... Relatively easy. See, there's nice rhythm here. Paper, 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 paper. Chrome, chrome, chrome. Paper, 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 paper. Chrome, 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 chrome. See, there's a good rhythm here. I feel like I haven't. I feel like hobby's just kind of all over the place. I haven't really caught a good rhythm in in hobby. Paper, 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 and then paper parallel. Kalanick to 4.99. Another big Mariners prospect. For Seattle, the only thing you have to look out for is all those extra Witt Jr. and Pawson and Dominguez. Um, Mariners, that'll be for Jordan Cohen. We got an Atomic Talent Pipeline to 150. Orioles, Rushman, Mountcastle, Usniel Diaz. Orioles, if those some of those guys work out, Orioles, Nick Reason, could have a sneaky good team in a few years or so. And there's Logan Allen for the Tribe. Refractor autograph to $4.99. That's for Nick Koba and the Indians. And a Chrome Witt Jr. for Jay Remington and the Royals. So, Mark, it sounds like you need to be at the third PJ Tour event back. Which will, yeah, it should be. It'll be interesting with no fans. You have, you have to, you have to keep us posted on on how how that experience was from the ground, from the ground level. Oh wait, are are there fights on Cooper? Cooper is saying lunch money on on Catlin Chicagian. 
I'm assuming is that a, is that a fighter? Robert Possum paper for Aaron. New tender black pepper Angus steak, hot off the walk and ready for delivery only from Panda Express. Now it's only the main it's only main event on I, I don't need to really watch US Marshals. It's only main event on a uh, pay-per-view, right? I can still watch There's a national dog show on? I do love dogs. No, it's like I actually can't watch this. Get too into it. Can, you, can we bet on the national dog show? I'm sure we can. She runs the acreage with 23 champion great days. And guess who's in charge? <laughs> well, you know, isn't that peculiar, though? Because great Danes don't know how big they are. And these are dogs that aren't going to give up space. <laughs> the terriers always own the ground, don't they? They really do. They, and they used to hunt in packs with hounds, a lot of them. You can see this dog, the late one has kind of a compact little body that helps it fit into these rocky crevices as it's going after its quarry. Can't watch the dog show. Possum Chrome. I kind of like the... Uh, I kind of like UFC without fans, though. I don't. I don't watch too much of this. I. I mean, I like watching fights, but I just, just don't get around to watching a lot of this. But I do like hearing the fist on on face kind of situation here. Grant Little sounds more real. Mark Bissett with the Padres. This kid, I think, was signed by the Blue Jays as like a 15 or 16 year old out of Brazil, supposed to be a bit of a phenom. An atomic autograph. Coop, what did you get? What did what did you get? Chukagian at? Is that favorite or plus money? Oh, probably minus money. Looks like she's number seated two. That's what those numbers mean. Braves, EA with the Braves Atomic Autograph, Dela Cruz. There you go, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know who's who. Paper Bobby Witt Jr. for Remington. Oh, she was the underdog. Plus 110? That's not bad. I'm not a huge fan of the... I guess the... Maybe it's because of my sort of lack of knowledge of the sport, but... The ground game aspect of it is I'm not a doesn't really excite me that much. Bring to ruckus lo loves the grappling aspect of it, the ground game. Yeah, it's probably just just. Yeah, it's probably just my lack of knowledge of the sport, really, to, to, to my inability to appreciate that, you know, as a, as a casual.
apologies if you also have this on your TV. There could be a little bit of a delay between your feed and my feed. Ukrainian soccer star Andrei Shevchenko. There's Jason Mingas, Bradley Marshall on the Yankees. I think that was his name. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome. And look, a Bowman autograph sitting up there. More for Remington. Nice break for the Royals. And it's a Reds autograph. His Aristides Aquino for Derek Disser and the Red Legs. There you go, Derek D. Like that old design right there. There it is, 19 out of 30 on that one. Yeah, there you go, Derek. Nice, he says. And we got James Beard. White Sox autograph. That'll be for Bradley Marshall. Don't worry, Ryan Harold. We still have a few more boxes to go. We still have a ways to go. We'll find some Mets. We'll try to find some Mets for you here. No, nothing really, Robert. I think we just have, I see a few orders coming in. We just have a Prism Retail Pack sold out to give away the uh, another $1,000 mixer spot. We were working on, trying to work on filling that Noir Basketball 5, which has four teams left straight up that's the closest at a glance no one has mentioned anything being sold out so we kind of got a we kind of have an open schedule as of now which is which is rare so if you want to if you want your break to happen ladies and gentlemen now now's the time to uh, to set the schedule yourself All right, Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. That'll be for Remington once again. Nice paper this time. Derek Disser says it'll be a good Saturday if I hit him with a hit him with a Joe Adele. Yeah, he's he's pretty good, from what I understand. If we uh, if we ever get fans back in baseball this year, he might be. I'd be playing for the Angels just down the street, patrolling the outfield with this guy. We got Christian Pash for uh, EA and the Braves. There you go, Eric. Yeah, he's definitely asked. You think he's starting from, from the get-go? There's Ezekiel Duran. 
91 out of 250. Yankees, so that'll be for Bradley Marshall. We got Taylor Trammell to 250. Padres. There's Robert Possum. Blakey Boy says Trout Upton definitely going to start. See, I wonder if with if the, if this shortened season, if they even start the clock on someone like Joe Adele, why bother? You know, you can you can just hold him until next spring. I think Gavin Lux played already already played a lot last year, so I don't think there's going to be. I don't think the Do I think the Dodgers are going to play him. There's going to be no no marinating of of his service time or anything like that. But but yeah, I mean, if we're only going to play sixty games this season. Maybe if you have a full season, you play Joe Adele from day one, right? Just because let's let him, you know, let's let him get some some playing time in the big leagues immediately. But I don't know. I mean, it looks like minor league seasons are pretty much, unfortunately, pretty much dunzos, which sucks. So where are those my I don't know. Maybe minor leaguers don't play. So they have to play Joe Adele, you know, youngsters. Give them, so they can they can stay fresh. They can keep playing. Who's the MVP this year in the NL? Yeah, Arenado could be. He's always in. He's always in contention. Some gold shimmer on top of that stack back there. Derek saying, but the Dodgers are the best. Uh, he's Derek saying an Arenado if they took defense into the into account, the voters. But he's thinking that since the Dodgers are the best team, as long as Bellinger hits like 45 home runs, he'll win again. Bellinger's good with the glove too. Cannon Smith to 499. You know what would be, since Bellinger already won one, I'm a, you know, I think he's okay. He can win another one later. Now I'm just thinking, what NL, what NL uh, MVP win would be good for the hobby? No, Rendon went to the Angels. I think Pete Alonso. What about that? Here's Jason Dominguez for Bradley and the Yankees. That'd be good for the hobby. Rookie of the year and then an MVP a second year. That would be hashtag excellent for the hobby, I think. All those all those uh, Pete Alonzo rookie autos and all those Pete Alonzos from Bowman, you know, that, that people have patiently held on to even after he won rookie of the year. Nice Bobby Bradley yellow to 75. Tribe, Nick Koba. That would be excellent for the hobby, I think. 
utilize the footwork that a boxer does. That's what she needs to do in this fight. She needs to be lying on her feet. You know, and it's, it seems like, uh, you know, let's be honest here. For whatever reason, Bellinger doesn't seem as, as as public, right? Maybe he's more of a private guy. I don't know. But he's not as public. But Pete Alonso, they brought him out to the Topps Million Card Rip Party, wandering around. I haven't seen Bellinger do anything like that. You know, so, so maybe Topps is putting their weight behind Pete Alonso to be to have a good relationship with Topps and you know be the future. If he wins MVP, Topps would love that. Vlad in the AL, that Vlad Jr. would be nice too. There's Sheraton Apostle. I just I want to see what Vlad does. Full healthy season, another season and Pete Alonzo, would love to see that. That's out of 50. Gold Shimmer Apostle, that's, I think that's the second one. Mark was set with that. Yeah, well, when when Nick and Jason Jaspi and the rest of the Jaspi team who were there ran into, you know, was at the Million Card Rip Party, which was an excellent event thrown by Topps. He was there for a few hours. He went to every breaking table that was there, you know, and spent like, you know, a minute or two with each table and said hi to them and you know waved to the cameras and everything apparently he was super nice we gave him a Jaspi shirt we, was, we were hoping we'd see him wear it get caught by TMZ getting off a plane wearing it or something like that no dice yet it's probably just in the back of his closet now Bobby Witt Jr. But yeah, all indications was that he was a pretty stand-up dude. Spent a lot of time there at the Million Card Rip Party in Dallas. Seemed like he was having a good time as well. Like it wasn't just a, an, an event where he was just in and out, you know. So if he wins, there's another Robert Possum for the A's, Aaron. If he wins the MVP, Rookie of the Year last year, MVP this year, Especially in a shortened season, you can just rake in a shortened season. You can just get hot and just destroy. You know, and have some crazy, what would, ha what would have to happen? It would be like, he'd have to go on a tear where ESPN and MLB Network would be like, if this was a full 162 game season, Pete Alonso would have 75 home runs. He'd have to go on that pace, which you could do in a short period of time. And then everyone goes bananas over what, what Pete Alonso could have done. Wins the MVP. Hashtag good for the hobby. Book it. And Gavin Lux, Rookie of the Year. I think he sells rookie eligibility. Maybe not, actually. Not think about it. Maybe not. All right, we've got... Kanan Smith, Yankees autograph for uh, Bradley. And Dominguez, spanning the globe. Are any of these spanning the globe cards autographed? That'd be cool. Especially the Jason Dominguez one. I like this. I like this insert set. Paper Robert Pawson, Aqua Shimmer, Taylor Trammell to 125. Padres, that'll be for Mark Bissett. Two boxes left, ladies and gentlemen, almost there. We were making, I think we're making some good time. Yeah, we're making some decent time. Yeah, see, this, this jumbo doesn't, doesn't feel as long.
Say the girl on the left one. And I'm going to open up that final box right here, too. Let's just get both out of the way. Let's slide these cards back. All right. Good luck. Yeah, no, I guess, I guess I guess we burned everybody out this week, Ryan. We actually had a pretty big night last night. Maybe we just burned we just burned everyone's budgets out. Maybe everyone's watching UFC tonight. You know, live sports. And everyone's like, man, finally some live sports to watch. I I also have a feeling that now now that people realize there are certain new releases coming out, other people are just like, oh, now I can wait for that. <laughs> now I can wait for that. Yeah, so select baseball. That's easy on the wallet. I, in fact, I thought that had sold out last night, Robert. I was surprised that the same one was here tonight. All right, here are the final two jumbo boxes. Oh, I see some speckle right there on this column right here. Okay. Thanks, everybody. This is Pick Your Team number nine, Jumbo Nine. And uh, we've got some more in the store if you want to run some of this back tonight. Almost done with this one. We've got a quick little pack break to do after this. There's Bo Bichette. And I'll go through some more orders, but I don't think there's anything really sold out after that. At least no one's mentioned anything in the chat. Usually people are pretty... This is when I need people to tell me something sold out. Usually they tell me when I'm going through orders. It's like, yeah, I know, I'll get there. But when I'm in the middle of a break like this, a long break like this, that's why I need your updates. Adam Hill to 150 for Jason Cox and the Brew Crew. Robert Grease. Yes, we've got plenty of Jason Dominguez's. In fact, Jason Jaspi, no, Ted Jaspi, Pulled a Jason Dominguez orange auto out of 25 out of a personal box on the Instagram stream at Jaspi's Breaks. There's Vidal Bruhan to 499. That'll be for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Greg. And um, I think I think I've pulled a base auto. I think Nick and Jason Jaspi have pulled a base auto or two out of out of the the whole thirty cases that we've done between Hobby and Jumbo and the mixers. So yeah, we we've we've pulled maybe not maybe not ten, but more than five, which is not a bad return. And tons of paper, tons of chrome, you know, probably a bunch of num different numbered cards. So 
So yeah, a lot. Javi, when do I think the Noir half cases will break? Tonight, if you want to. We just need someone to sell it out. That's up to the 47, 50 people watching right now. There's Jason Dominguez, Yankees, Bradley. You can do a spot in each. That'd be a big help to get that rolling. Who else is with Javi? On that, uh, on that half case noir. I thought the half case noirs would be more popular than the pick your teams, but especially for a pricier product like this. But I guess the usual trend maintained. The popularity of the pick your teams were so strong. Tim Kate to four ninety nine Nationals Josh Lucas. Get into it, folks. Get your get your spots going. Cause your spot purchase could be the one that builds that momentum to get us into Breaksville. Scared money don't make money. I don't know the odds on the sneaker spotlights per case. I think initially people thought it was a case hit, one per case. That's not true because we pulled three out of the last full case we did. Uh, that w You can watch that video right now. So they're not case hits. I mean... The, the flip side could be true, too. I think there could be zero in a case. There's Nick Lodolo, 299. So there could be zero in a case. There could be more than... There could be three in a case, like we saw a little bit earlier tonight. Good evening, Fight Fans. Good to be with you, and thank you for joining us. What great action we have in store ahead. I'm Brendan Fitzgerald. I could not have more accomplished partners... And we got an Everson Piera, Yankees autograph for Bradley. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping he does well. Some people are worried. Yeah, that, well, some people is me. If you've been watching our stream, you know that the progression of Gavin Lux has been been pretty great. Paper Dominguez. All right, here are the final. Uh, here is the final box right here. Half a jumbo, second half of the jumbo. And I'll do a quick recap, and then we are donezos with jumbo picker team nine. I think jumbo picker team ten had less than less than ten for sure. Maybe even less than five teams remaining. We can knock out another jumbo tonight. There's Adam Hall, and do noir basketball, and do select baseball, and do a mixer. Like we we've got. Our evening is pretty wide open, so you can set the schedule tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Contenders football is down to five. There you go, Derek Bratt, and we can do that too. But the schedule is wide open right now. We just need we need some closers. We need some uh, Trevor Hoffman, some Mariano Rivera's to step up and shut the door on some breaks. We got we had some good starters, some solid middle relief. And now we need some closers to, to finish off some breaks. Here's Tariq Skubal for the Tigers. That's going to be for John Samuelson. Last spot mojo strikes in the very last box. That's paper, paper. Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt Mackenzie 
Jason Dominguez paper. Yeah, that th that thousand dollar four K's basketball mixer we can do we can do tonight as well if that moves. If everybody wants to to funnel their funds that way, that would be a lot of fun. That full case prism hobby sealed full case prism hobby. Look look it up. Look how much that's going for retail. It's insane. Ooh, and a nice refractor Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. 415 out of 499 for Jay Remington and the Royals. I feel like we have not seen too many Witt Jr. autographs. So that is a nice hit. It's got a sharp autograph too. You want to root for the guys that have good autos. You know, you want them to to do well. This has been a great jumbo break, actually. You'll see the recap in a second. It's been pretty solid. All right, second half of the final box coming up. What's that speckle up there? Is it an autograph? It is. It's Andy Pages. To 299, 64 or 299. I, I know nothing about this Dodger prospect, Michael Zinman, aside from the fact that I already like him. Let's see. There you go. Oh, part of the... Hit 364 in Cuba's 15 under, under circuit. Hmm, nice. Good plate discipline right here. All right, and been playing with older players. So he's, he's, he's been facing better competition than his age. All right. It's probably not pages, right? Pages. If he's from Dominican. All right. Let's continue. All right, there's Aaron Judge to 150. Blue paper for the Yankees, Bradley. Um, hold on, I'll answer that McCarthy after this break. Sorry, that's just too much text for me. You're in the middle of this, on the home stretch of this break right now. Grant Levine to 250. There's Robert. I feel like the the they were running out of ink on this. Some of these cards have looked a little more faded than than the other cards. Right? I don't know. Let's take a look at another one of the Roberts. Maybe it was. Is it just me? All right, let's put them in the same conditions here in this penny sleeve and a top loader. I know the lighting's a little weird, but I think this card is lighter. You'll be able to tell in person, Aaron Tooley and the A's. No super fractor, ladies and gentlemen. We've been through a lot of cases. Jaspies has yet to hit a super fractor. Some out of fives, some printing plates, but no supers. There's a nice Robert Pawson paper to 499. Sky blue paper. There you go. Aaron Tooley with a, got that autograph earlier too. Nice break for him. And 
let's see, what else? I think that's it. And his teammate, AJ Puck. There you go, boys and girls. That's it. Thanks for getting into the action. Let's do a recap. All right. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. We've got another jumbo case on the site. A lot of incredible value there, ladies and gentlemen. I know these are kind of not nice Aquino right here. I know these are kind of bulky breaks, but there's a reason why we've done 30 some odd cases of this since the release because of the incredible popularity that Bowman Baseball has. If you're a baseball fan, you got to get into this. There's the nice Robert Poston right here. If you're not knowledgeable about why Bowman's so great, definitely do the research. It's pretty awesome. And we started off with the Dodger. There you go. That was Picker Team 9, Jumbo Edition of 2020 Bowman Baseball. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.